Welcome back to MLB Nine Innings Tips. Today we have something different. Uh, about two weeks ago, I kept track of rewards after playing for 10 days. I played uh, in the year 2034. I played 162 game seasons. And I kept track for 10 days. I played 604 games. And I wanted to see what kind of rewards I was getting. And this is what the results were. I put um, the rewards into buckets as well based on the frequency of, of how they drop, not necessarily desirability. You know, I'm really chasing skill change tickets now, even though I put them in the A. They're more common than, say, diamond and player upgrade tickets. Those are the two rarest rewards. All right, so what I did subsequently was I kept track just playing the wild card game. I wanted to see, do I get more, more rewards and are those rewards better, the incremental rewards? And then be able to understand, is it better to play the season or just the wild card game? All right, so I kept track for another 604 games to be consistent and... This was the distribution. So I averaged eight rewards per game. So you're definitely getting more rewards. And now I want to see, are those incremental two rewards, do they follow the same distribution or uh, are they marginally better? So it's hard to see on this, so let's look at the comparison. So this is just the difference. Um, when you play the season, you get maybe a reward diamond at the end, usually. And you get a bunch of coins. So first comment is the coins are kind of a wash. You know, incrementally, I got an extra 67 gold lotto tickets uh, and then 166 silvers so that is uh, quite a bit of coin that that comes out to be about um, probably about 2 million coins so if you played 604 games that's not that's basically 362 game seasons and 180 game seasons so you you're probably getting right around the same coins as as rewards so i'll call that a wash um you can see here you know i got 25 more golds 38 more premiums no more diamonds. I actually got two less ultimate packs. Um, I got 12 more free agent tickets. So about one a day. One more skill change ticket per day. And this was um, the distribution here. So let, let's, let's go back to um, the first one. 72, almost 73% are, are deer. Uh, a D level rewards A was 2.3 so A's skill change ticket ultimate team select free agent so let's look here 61% were D rewards and 6.2% were, were A rewards so you're definitely getting better reward so you get more rewards they're better um i would say you do get less diamonds if i play four seasons um you know 362 game and and 180 game season there's you can pretty much count on four four diamonds you know being able to get four diamonds from that maybe not the diamonds you want but you are getting uh, more diamonds. So kind of my conclusion is if you're building your team, play seasons. If you don't have 
diamonds. If you have a S diamond deck, uh, say a at least a C team deck, uh, maybe B, start playing wild card games. Because you're really, now you're just trying to make incremental improvements. You want to get uh, more free agent tickets. You're trying to focus on um, skill changes. You're focused on uh, special training. So you're going to get more packs, more of the gold, silver packs that you can use for that. So I think that's that's the conclusion. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. But that would be my, my takeaway from this. So I'm where I'm at, I'm just playing wild card games now. I, I like the the increase in rewards to the rewards I need. Um, I haven't I've landed God knows how many seasons. I landed two team diamonds from the end of season reward so i think getting the free agent tickets and then hunting for free agents is is sort of an easier path than playing seasons so hope this is helpful guys and let me know if you have any questions i'm closing in on an event sig so i'm looking forward to opening that up uh, and then we should be getting uh team select sigs and probably in about two weeks, it'd be my guess, 4th of July, we have a start of the 2020 season. So some of these 2020 players should start going live pretty soon. So if you have a guy who was injured in 2019 and you have the 2020 card, um, hopefully their stats will pop up. So anyway, good luck. Have fun.